Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And this is kind of a follow-up from the challenge I did two nights ago where I mixed Reaper powder with peppermint extract. And I got one of the craziest burns that I have ever got. It was crazy. I didn't think it would be that bad. But it hit me right away. I switched around for about a minute. And afterward, my tongue was just pulsating. And it felt like my mouth was like physically burnt. And I mean, it was like pretty painful for a while. And it took a good probably like 15 to 20 minutes for the pain to kind of subside. Well, anyway... I've done plain um, Reaper before, and now just to see if this causes any burn, it's more of an experimental. It might not be hot at all, but I'm just going to do a, a swish of some peppermint extract by itself to see what the effect, how strong, and if it causes any kind of burn or discomfort to you. Maybe it will, and maybe it won't. But it definitely amplified the Reaper, I know that for sure. So any chili head who wants to try that, and I know a few commented in the comments, love to see you. It's kind of one of those you'd push for a higher time because it gets painful pretty fast. All right, here we go. I'm going to swish this. I may leave when I'm done swishing for a moment to get rid of it. But here we go, bottoms up. Mmm. 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 Ew. Ah, I think I took a little bit too much. Seriously. Come back. You're not supposed to rinse it. Ah. Ew. Rinse that oh, down, my man. My tongue's numb. <laughs> ah, my tongue okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Is my tongue intact? My tongue is numb. Um, your tongue looks blistered. That's really. You know, there's peppermint oil in that. It's. Your um, tongue looks kind of blistered. Um, what am I. Want to neutralize that with a base? Like what? Like some milk or switch some milk. That milk. Milk does a body good. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Neutralize it with coconut oil. Coconut oil. <laughs> Do we have coconut oil? Avocado oil? Give me a moment. I don't even know how to tape this. This is crazy. I think it's gradually coming out with the swishing. Is your audience just going to sit and watch you swish? <sighs> All right. 
Now that I've semi-recovered. All right. Okay. Now that I've semi-recovered, let me explain. I don't, I don't even know. This is like the weirdest one I've taped ever. Like, what, what, what's your point? It was like a different kind of burn. It was like, it was a burn, but it wasn't like capsaicin burn. It was like, a, my tongue is numb and it doesn't feel right. But it felt kind of hot, but a different hot. Your tongue is white. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if that's normal. You may want to rinse this as soon as I get off camera again. But anyway, I can see why. Um, I mean, and it still feels kind of numb, but it feels better after rinsing a little bit. Usually when you take but, oils, you usually put it in the carrier oil. Like that's probably a hot oil. Uh, and peppermint extract you usually use in cooking or other things like... You know, not just take it internally like that. It actually can burn you. Well, I can see why the Reaper with the peppermint oil, that was one of literally the hottest swishes I've ever done. Like, I've done swishes with the HE double hockey stick hammer and some hot tinctures. But that, I'm pretty sure, takes the cake. So, Chili Heads, if you want to try something, do that spoonful of half and half peppermint extract and super hot like pepper powder like reaper or whatever else you have and you will burn hard i guarantee if the peppermint extract was that crazy on its own and then reaper and, or hot powder is pretty crazy on its own i mean it was not as hot as the other night like the heat's down my tongue the tingliness is going away now mm. but like that's hardcore Okay, even the peppermint extract swish by itself is pretty hardcore. And Reaper by itself can be a little hardcore too, some of the Chili Heads know. But the combination, try it. I'd love to see some of my Chili Head friends try it and see how long they can last. Peppermint extract, half and half with hot chili powder. Not Reaper powder. Reaper powder or whatever else you have. Pepper D, Pepper X powder, something else crazy. So. Good. If you're a glutton for punishment, that is. Not for regular people, though. All right. That was an interesting experiment and experience tonight as well. But finding out some interesting things. My tongue's still a little tingly, but I'm finally recovering. I don't even know what to say. Let me see. It, like, okay, on camera it looks pink, but if I look at it not on camera, here, like, hold it out again. It looks pretty white. Like, after I did the one with the Reaper powder, it was, like, white with, like, orange tint to it. Probably from, like, the... Yeah, it had a weird color to it the other night, too. That's so, um, yeah. Just something to try, maybe. Or think about. Or mm. maybe avoid at all costs. Mm. Definitely would be good for training the tol mouth tolerance, for sure. And I definitely didn't want to swallow that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> tempter beware. All right, we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.